the H file. But um, the big deal is that um, we see the knight first coming to f4. So knight takes f4, queen takes. Um, introducing this idea now of rook takes and queen h4. And again, you might think, well, what's the big deal? You know, it's 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 never really going to be uh, that effective. Um, but after bishop c4, so we have c5, but that closes up the queen side. Rook b3, so there may be an idea now like a6 and stuff, maybe rook b7 if black's not careful. Um, but even worse is, is queen e3, it seems, but where is black's attack here? Well, Golden Jones played the spectacular rook takes h2, and after queen h4, you may think, well, white just defends this now, again using the g1 square. But here's the really clever twist of the game, that black, uh, with white's fixed target, had, you know, at leisure, a nice rook maneuver, standard rook maneuver, rook f8 to f6 to h6. So he plays rook f8, um, but actually he, he chooses not f6 here. He chooses f4. Okay, rook takes c7. Um, in fact, the point is revealed here that rook f6 would have been a disaster because he wants the battery the right way. He doesn't want the queen and rook battery that way with the rook there and the queen there. He wants actually the queen there and the rook here. Um, so if you had seen this, that's that's great. You know, this this is like uh, you know temporary peace sacks with with leisurely maneuvers and getting the battery the right the, the right way round the rook and queen the right way round. So f4 is the way to do it. So the idea of the queen coming to h6. Um, so rook takes c7 and actually after queen h6, some skull's really stuck here. He can't move the queen to queen h2, mate, and he's just waiting now for his execution. Even if he takes the piece, it's no real consolation on d7, the check or whatever. So say, you know, he actually resigned here. But say rook takes d7, just rook h4, and white's getting brutally mated, you know, with the classic fawn pawn on, on g3. So that shows, you know, the evacuation difference. Um, I just wanted to bring out, you know, why, you know, why the strangeness, the easiness of the Rudd game. If you look at this, uh, this context of last year, uh, you know, you need some sort of bravery to play this as white when you see this battery idea of the rook and queen on the H file. Let's have a quick look at this again. So the first 13 moves identical to the other game last year, but. Um, Rook h6 instead of h6, a6, and uh, the king just just stuck as a fixed target on h1. It just means more resources, uh, more more cunning, is possible. Uh, you know, like those James Bond films when they give James Bond time to escape. That that here, it's there's more time to do something with the fixed target on h1 to do something very clever and special. Rearrange the battery so that the rook is first and the queen is after. So the battery was rearranged kind of cleverly after this temporary um, this 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 rook sacrifice, which which left white paralysed, just waiting for black to reshuffle the pieces after queen h6, and he had to resign. Uh, so I hope you found both games interesting from the for a king's engine player. Both games are very interesting in particular. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.